Number 102. Which of the following compounds, when dissolved in 0.01 molarity solution of HClO4, has a solubility greater than in pure water? And then they give us five options here. So out of these five, we have to pick which one of these would have a greater solubility if it was being dissolved in HClO4 as opposed to just pure water. So keep in mind, HClO4, right, is one of my strong acids. HClO4 is right here. So basically, we're going to be dissolving all of these five ions, right, these ionic compounds, into a strong acid. So now, if you want a solubility greater, if you're dissolving it in a strong acid as opposed to pure water, we're basically looking for something that is basic, right? So if they give you an acid, just like they have here, we need a basic salt. So we need a basic salt. And remember, a salt is just an ionic compound, right? But basically, we want to figure out which one of these is basic. Well, this is basically from review. We have to look at the ions that these five compounds dissolve into. So let's say CuCl. We'll do CaCO3 over here. We'll do MnS. We have Pb, Br2. And then we have CaF2. Okay. So let's just quickly break down these ions. So for CuCl, they, and basically what I can do is I can say that both, you know, all five of these are always going to break down into their two components, right? An ionic compound always has a cation, the positive one, and the anion, which is the negative one. So the cation is always going to be the the element or the polyatomic in the front. So copper, we have calcium, we have Mn, manganese, we got lead, which is Pb, and we have calcium again, right? So basically for each one of these, we have Cu. And for this example, it doesn't matter if you know the charges, you just have to basically figure out which one is the, the plus and the minus, right? This is calcium, calcium is always a two plus charge, Manganese, this one is a plus two. Pb, which is also a plus two in this example. And then calcium again, which is a plus two. Now your anion is always going to be the one in the back. So we have Cl, carbonate, which is Cl3, just the S, the bromine, and the F. So we have Cl minus, we have CO3. 2 minus, carbonate is always a negative charge. We have sulfur, which is a 2 minus. We have bromine, which is a minus 1. It does not matter that we have two of them. We're just naming the ions. And then we have F minus. Now, remember, we're dissolving it in something that's acidic. So we're looking for that basic salt. The basic salt is going to come from the negative charge. So in all of these, I don't care about the positives. The base is going to come from that negative anion. And now we have to determine, okay, is Cl going to be basic? Well, we have to look for these conjugates from our strong acids. Remember that if you have a strong acid, the conjugate base, which are all of these negatives, they're going to be so, 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 so weak that we can basically just call it neutral. So if you have an ion that is from a strong acid, right, the base is going to be neutral or not basic. So conjugate base, I'll just put con base is neutral, not basic. So let's see. Cl minus. Do I see a Cl in here? Yes, I do. Here it is. So this conjugate base is not going to be basic. It's going to be neutral. So this one. Mm-mm, sorry, CuCl does not have a greater solubility. CO3 2 minus. Is CO3 2 minus on here? I don't see it. So that means it came from a weak acid, and therefore this conjugate is a weak base. So 
CaCO3, that checks out. This one is going to be one of the ones that have a greater solubility. Let's keep going. S minus. Do I see S on my list of strong acids? No, I don't. So, this MNS is also another compound. Br minus. Do I see a bromine in my strong acids? Yes, I do. It's right here. So, that unfortunately does not make the cut. And maybe I'll put like an X here and an X here. And then the last one is F minus. Do I see F on my list of strong acids? No. So this makes the cut. And that's basically your answer. The three of them is the CaCO3, the MNS, and the CaF2. And that is it, guys. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I will all I will talk to you all in later lessons. Okay. Bye-bye.